anyway. Uh, but I'd like to say about... <laughs> what I'd like to say about my theme is I can't say anything that said at all. <laughs> the only person I heard done it to is the camera. Check this out. <laughs> That's the poor man's boot game. What's the thing? Nutter? Nutter. I'm hanging up my stuff. Don't look. <laughs> Maybe two days ago. Yeah! Don't do weather! Sir, I understand you've been flashing people. On uh, the camera, yes, sir. Is that just a joke or what? Just making people laugh, sir. I was thinking maybe I'd put the whole four squads out there, you could flash them and get it over with. That doesn't need to happen, sir. Okay, I don't want to see you in here again for flashing. Roger that, sir. You're dismissed. Thank you, sir. For several weeks now you've handled several missions most of which have had a military objective today your mission is going to involve a law enforcement objective your mission is to conduct a hostage rescue using cqb close quarter battle techniques a local tv anchor woman linda morris was taken hostage by two individuals with ak-47s and there were shots fired miss morris was shot in the leg the suspects are located in this apartment. One member of your team will relieve the police officer on the scene and serve as an observation post for your mission. Once you're in position, if you have a shot at the suspect, take it. We have numerous people pinned down in this area from gunfire, including several firemen and a TV news cameraman. There are innocents in the building who are also wearing Miles Gear laser sensors. If you shoot one of the innocents, it's a 50-point deduction. When you have the hostage, you will take her to a waiting ambulance. When you enter each room at the location, throw in a flashbang. These devices will explode, creating a loud noise and giving off smoke. This will confuse anyone inside the room, giving you enough time to enter and contain the hostile elements. You've got to use teamwork to accomplish your mission. Okay, gentlemen, good luck. SWAT guys on our team. The other three guys that we have on our team have a pretty good uh, CQB experience. That evac is going to be, like you said, through the rear and then a start short. We uh, basically gave this over to Oz to be the team leader for this mission with his background as a team leader in LA SWAT. Thought he did a great job presenting the plan. Well, I'm just thinking of smoke as a uh, smoke screen to get, to get from, right from, from that build, the back side of this building to the street here. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. idea. That's a good idea. Might be able to cross right uh, the decision for Ozzy to become the, I guess, the uh, team team leader for this operation was was based solely on my call. And then I think we yeah, have a Our team leader is Ed Bugare. He was at uh, Delta Force for a long time. I mean, if he didn't write the book on it, he, he was there next to the guy writing it. What I try to do is I try to ID who has the most expertise in that particular mission, and we use them as the, uh, the priority planner. They're the ones who kind of put the plan together. Get across right here. We I'm trying to uh, show the guys how we work in Los Angeles as a SWAT team uh, uh, on entering structures and entering rooms, on taking hostages and uh, uh, suspects in custody. And if you make a mistake and shoot the wrong person, that's why we're going to get doctor points. The way this next mission is set up, uh, it should play to our strong suit. Now 
now we're uh, getting into the planning stages for the Mars mission at Steel CQB, which is something that I know a lot about. We're trying to help out the team as best we can right now. First guy here, he button hooks, and then this guy comes in, or no? No, no, we go where you can see. That, this that, guy goes where he can see, because yeah. he can see here. But he'll have to watch this wall right here, so we'll run his walls. We're really trying to consciously saying, melt you know you uh, the military you know, aspect you, with the police aspect, because right, they really are yeah. two different um, animals. You know, we do two, we do it two different styles. There's yeah. always just going to be a split second there that you can't... You he can't. cannot react. If you bang him and you hit the house, he can't react fast enough before the second guy gets there and he takes him out. It's impossible. That would say the second guy. It still remains to be seen, I think, really how big of an asset he is. I think our next mission is a, a CQB mission, and uh, he's already kind of shown that he's got a lot of skill, a lot of knowledge, and uh, I'm anxious to work with him. I feel like I find a role already. Clear, coming in. All up. Go ahead, give it to me each time. Four out, four jump. Guard up. Scott up. John up. Stand by. One, two, three. And I can tell you one thing, while everybody else is taking breaks, we certainly have not slacked. We've been rehearsing. We actually spent most of the time this afternoon between our activities and uh, after even, before we went to chat, we spent another hour and a half working on this stuff. Clear, clear. Coming out or coming in? Shot up, come in. Shot up. All right, wait, wait, wait. Look, we gotta keep it really simple. Okay, guys go in, they take the guy down or whatever. Let's just go in and out, okay? Let's go in, clear the room. Coming out. Come out. I'm playing this chow hall. Let's, let's just rehearse what the hell we gotta do. Let's go up that stairwell. Let's set up security right in that hallway. Let's set up the friggin' two-man stack on the first left door. Let's just play what we got to play with. We're coming in a friggin' room that, you know, this isn't gonna be the scenario. Yeah, I know. We are just pretending though, that that was a door. I think it's given us a, a chance. We have to, like Bob said, is we have to stack every single time before we go anywhere. Because I really like that a lot with George going, George up, Garth up, Scott up. No, I think that's up. great too, but yeah. we got to get this where I think, uh, let's just do one room. Let's okay. just do one room. Okay, we'll keep just doing one room okay. over and over. this one number one we need to get a one in the wind column uh, as far as missions number two we don't want to lose anybody if we lose this thing and everybody know we're gonna beat up on Charlie everybody beat up on Charlie squad man Charlie squad like oh man. Charlie squad is like out there is like oh man they ain't got they just so I don't know they just beat up really critical tomorrow that we uh, win this thing if we're going to turn it around and i i have every belief that we will it was the consensus of the team that ozzy takes it over and pretty much acts as a team leader in today's mission. <laughs> After yesterday's episode, I can take the win. He, uh, he had a little problem on uh, one of the competitions that we did uh, that involved water, but he bounced right back. We handed the uh, torch to him, so to speak, there and said, hey, get us through this. In this mission, I kind of like took the leadership role because I felt more home at home as, as to what we were going to do. I knew all the procedures that I've been taught and all the procedures that we go through that I, I probably could get this mission accomplished. When you arrive, send one member of your squad to relieve the police officer on the scene. The rest of you will proceed with the hostage rescue. The mission will be complete when you get the hostage safely to the ambulance. Charlie, you didn't win the training exercise, so you will start out with the standard 1,000 points. Your team will lose 5 points for every minute elapsed, and 50 points for each member of your team killed. Again, you will use the Mario's laser engagement system. Each one of you will wear a vest covered with laser light receptors. If you are hit, your buzzer goes off, lay down, you are dead. Weapon in window six. Be advised, Ozzy, he is four feet below you. Over. Roger that. Uh, we're waiting for you. Let me know when 
window before you move. I'm going to attempt to uh, engage him. Over. Roger that. Be advised, we're going to start descending. 